Hey guys, welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we're doing something just a little bit different. You guys are always asking me how many steps I actually have in my morning and my evening skincare routine. I can never really answer that question because day in, day out, the total number actually changes. Some days I'll be using treatments that maybe I only reach for once a week, which will of course increase the number of steps. Some days I'm in a mad rush and I streamline it all the way down. So I thought I'd turn this question on its head and document over the past week every single skincare product I reach for. In this video, I'm going to be sharing each and every one of those products, how I layered them into my skincare routine, the frequency that I use them to hopefully help you guys make the right decisions when it comes to your own skincare needs. Sit back, relax, let's talk all the skincare I used in a week. Now before we get into this video, I would love, love, love to know if you have any questions on the back of this. I try and respond to as many questions and comments as possible. So if you sat there thinking, oh, I wish it covered that, or I'd like to know a bit more about that, sound up in the comments section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All I ask for in return is that whilst you're down there, you also give this video a big thumbs up and a like. This is honestly the best way of supporting me as a content creator, because the more likes a video gets, the more widely YouTube will distribute it on its platform. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so, so much. Now I've got a lot of product to get through in today's video, so let's cut that waffle and delve straight on in. Now kicking things off with cleansers, which are easy, because honestly, when it comes to cleansing, I am pretty boring. I don't mix it up that frequently. I tend to stick to the same core products that I love and I know just work really well for my skin. Normally I would be reaching for the Mad About Skin Gentle Jelly Cleanser, but that's been out of stock. You guys went mad for that. We ran out and we've been waiting, waiting for the restock to happen. That's just around the corner in the next week and I cannot, cannot wait to have that back in my skincare routine. But in the meantime, I've been using these two products. This is the Medicaid Surface Radiance Cleanser. Now I really like this a couple of times a week as a very light, gentle exfoliator. In fact, it's so gentle, you probably could use it every single day, but it's winter here in the UK and I notice my skin is a little bit more dryness prone than usual so I've been restricting how frequent I use this but gorgeous kickstarts your exfoliation game gives you a little bit of a glow up and it feels so bougie so luxurious when you reach for it I would definitely definitely recommend this if you've got a more sensitive skin type and exfoliation just doesn't work for you give this a go a couple of times a week it's a really gentle yet really effective way of exfoliating and I feel less stripping less potentially irritating than some leave-on treatments for the days when I'm not using that, I've been using this. This is the Dr. Sam Flawless Cleanser Refill. Now, the, the idea behind this is you refill your existing Dr. Sam Bunting Cleanser with this cut down on your packaging, your plastic waste. That's all well and good, but I actually threw out the old like component of it, so I've just been dispensing it direct from this refill. I don't think you're supposed to do that, but honestly, you get so much product. What's in here? 400 mil, really good price point, so you get a lot of cleanser for your money. Whether you've got the original component or not, you can actually just dispense the right amount of this. Okay, it's not got the bougie luxury pump, but to save a little coin, this is a really effective way of doing it. One of these will probably last me about six months. So, <laughs> you know, you get a lot of cleanser for your money here. And yeah, I just really enjoy it. It's bouncy, it doesn't strip, it doesn't dry, and gives a really effective cleanse. I'd love to know, have you tried this? Are you interested in this sort of refill? I could do a review of this style of refill skincare items if you're looking to minimize waste. Let me know in the comments below. Now, after cleansers, I want to touch briefly on the weekly treatments that I do, or the multiple times a week. Those products I don't use every day. And it's actually just two. These two products I use infrequently in my skincare routine, but I still get amazing results from them. So this is the PSA Skin Light Up Mask. A couple of times a week, I'll leave this on the skin for 10 minutes to get that radiance boost. Packed full of vitamin C, but other hydrating ingredients. It is a real treat for the skin. I always put this on my skin before I go to the gym, drive to the gym, and then by the time I get there, rinse it off straight away, and I've got an instant glow up and luminosity boost. In theory, you could use this every single day if your skin isn't particularly sensitive to vitamin C, but if I do that, I feel it's just overload. So I'll reach for a more gentle vitamin C that I'm going to come on to in a minute and use this a couple of times a week just to boost the radiance levels. A new favourite product of mine that I love so much I've kind of matched the colour today. I've done my best anyway. This is the SVR Micro Peel Sebri Clear Toner. I use this just once a week because I feel that's all you actually need. In here, you've got some lactobionic acid, you've got a small concentration of niacinamide, you've got some other great ingredients to just mattify everything down. I find that I'm particularly oily and blackhead prone on my nose, so I'll put a little bit of this on a reusable cotton round and just wipe it around the T-zone once, 
twice a week tops and it just keeps you matte well way that i just don't find other products actually do this brand is a french pharmacy staple and if you've tried anything else from svr let me know in the comments because i do want to experiment more with this brand based on just how much i love this product but if you're super oily and acne prone like me a little of this a couple of times a week could be your go-to holy grail. Now, quickly before we embark on the serums, which actually make up the vast bulk of this video, quick eye cream mention. This is the Revolution Skin Miracle Eye Cream. I've spoken about this so often on the channel. I won't go into it in too much detail because I actually did a standalone video, which is linked up there. Love this product. Instant radiance boost under the eye, colour correction, and some long-term anti-aging benefits. I use this because it's £7. It's one of the most affordable eye creams I think I've found, and I just found that I'm using this time, time again, getting the results that I want without needing to overpay. So yeah, this every single day, and I absolutely adore it. Now, I said that serums were the bulk of the products in this video, and I wasn't lying to you, but actually, you shouldn't be surprised by this, because generally speaking, you'll have more serums in your routine than you will, say, cleansers, or moisturizers and I think serums are where the true value actually lies in your skincare routine. That the leave-on treatments that often contain the potent actives that are going to give you the results that you crave. So I focus down on spending your hard-earned coin on those serum steps. Don't overpay for your cleansers or your moisturizers. The drugstore will be absolutely fine for most of those products but you might want to invest a little bit more in your serums which is where I think you'll definitely see that additional benefit for any additional coin that you spend. So first up is this. This is the Mad About Skin Got You Covered Super Serum. Of course, my own brand. I formulated this for those lazy days where I just want a one and done style of product. You know, peptides, you've got antioxidants, you've got um, azelaic acid in here, you've got some great humectants and hydrators. It's packed full of all the things that you really need to do a single one-stop shop skincare routine. Cleanse, some of this, put your SPF on and you're out the door. That was why I created this product, but I've actually found I'm using it more frequently in my evening skincare routine. That's because I want to get that dose of azelaic acid, in this case, in a 5% concentration, alongside my retinoids, because this two ingredient pairing is wonderful. Azelaic acid will calm, soothe, and minimize any irritation that you might get from your retinoids. And I also love the fact it's got a 5% concentration of a vitamin C derivative. I like to use my pure form ascorbic and L ascorbic acid in the morning for its great antioxidant benefits. But on an evening, I don't want to miss out entirely on vitamin C's, and so I'll reach for a derivative super gentle, won't cause any extra irritation. This way I feel that you get vitamin C at both ends of the day and I covered why I think that's really important in a recent video which again I'm going to leave a link to up there. This is how I get my vitamin C derivative fix on top of my azelaic acid and yes you could use this in the morning and in the evening but I tend to find I'm reaching more for it every single night, pairs beautifully with my retinoid. I'm all about the calming, the soothing, restoring equilibrium to the skin. I think a couple of years ago, it was all like we were in attack mode. We always reached for products that sort of dealt with the issue and we didn't mind if it was stripping, drying, sensitizing. We just wanted those quick wins and results. Well, now I think we need to treat our skin with the love and respect it deserves and never miss out on a calming and soothing step in your routine. Two that I use all the time are these. This is the Madagascar Centella Ampule by Skin 1004. Um, I would use this interchangeably with the V-Green Seeker Serum. I love both of them just as much but at the moment I'm waiting for my delivery of the Seeker Serum so this is the one that I happen to be using. It's really nice. It's not the cheapest Seeker Serum but the quality definitely warrants that slightly higher price point and it's just it feels so good on the skin. Centella calms, soothes. If you use it alongside your vitamin C, it actually doubles down on the collagen boosting benefits of that vitamin C alone. It's got so many great benefits. And I'll also reach for this little gem, the Q&A Marine Hyaluronate Toning Lotion. I use this in the past week every single day. My skin is going through it, a little bit dryness prone with the changing weather. And this is that hydration boost we all crave. It's got algal extracts, marine extracts, everything you need to plump out the skin, give, bring back that juiciness, that dewiness, and that glow. This is like a hydration superpower. So I would say if you're struggling to get on top of any dryness that you have in the skin, get a little of this in your skincare routine. Just slot it in wherever it fits. It's super flexible. I promise you'll notice the difference. The rest of the serums tend to focus on anti-aging. This, this is a key focus for me in my skincare routine. I'm coming into my 37th year here on planet Earth, and so I am starting to notice a lot of firmness, elasticity, the appearance of those fine lines and wrinkles. You can actually do an awful lot to combat that, and these three products like my holy grails. So here we've got the ordinary ascorbic acid 8%, alpha arbutin 2%. I use this every day in the last week that I wasn't using that PSA skin light up mask. A couple of times a week on the mask, and then 
then the days where I'm not using that, I'll get my vitamin C fix on a morning from this. This is actually quite a gentle vitamin C, 8%, you know, that's nothing when you think you can get 20, 30% concentrations. But I don't like to push it, and the reason I reach for this, A, it's cheap, and I love that, I'm drugstore to my core. But it's also got a 2% concentration of alpha arbutin, which doubles down on the hyperpigmentation fighting. So yeah, such a great option. And um, this is the Medicaid Liquid Peptides, which is my peptide fix. And um, I talked about peptides a lot on this channel, so I'll find a video and link it up there explaining what they do, why I feel they're beneficial. But I like to shop around for a product that actually delivers multiple different peptides in a meaningful concentration. You get that with this one. It's not the cheapest, but I always used to reach for the Hylamide Sub-Q Skin. That's been discontinued, and this is kind of the closest dupe that I can find for it, even if it does come with a slightly higher price point feels so good on the skin, adds some hydration and gives you some really great collagen boosting peptide benefits too. Then finally for the serums we've got this. This is the Synoxin 2 Serum by Indeed Labs. A wonderful treatment for targeting dynamic fine lines and wrinkles. I use this twice a day. Put it around the crow's feet, the laughter lines, the elevens is in the forehead. This works like no other product I've ever reached for. My Holy Grails used to be the Ordinary Azure Line and Matrixel together. Still love that combo. But this has it all in one and I think works just that little bit better. Which is why I reach for this every single day in the past week. And I can see myself reaching for it for many any more weeks to come. Now we're in the home straight, but there are a couple of other products that I use this week that I want to call out. Of course, every single day, sunscreen. I, no good skincare routine is complete without a broad spectrum SPF. And I actually use my own. This is the Mad About Skin Protect and Hydrate Sunscreen. The reason I use this is I actually created it because I felt that there wasn't on the market a product that delivered high broad spectrum sun protection alongside really great moisturizing qualities too. Because I have an oilier skin type, on a morning I like a one and done moisturizer and sunscreen all in one. They didn't really exist. A lot of the lightweight and elegant, like oily skin appropriate sunscreens are packed full of drying alcohols. Well, that's not gonna do the trick. Or the other ones just weren't broad spectrum enough. This, you get that sky high protection, great moisturizing, there's no drying alcohols in here, and yeah, it just works for me. It's also one of the few sunscreens I've ever reached for that doesn't clog the pores or break me out. Been using it consistently for the past like six months to a year, every single day, and I've noticed no increase in skin congestion, which is honestly pretty rare for sunscreens, because often they're quite thick and they can definitely clog the pores. Now on a morning, before I go in with the sunscreen, I'll put one pump of this, the Mad About Skin All Day Protection Antioxidant Cream across the skin. This just increases the hydration value, because this one's so rich and creamy, but it's also packed full of antioxidants. I think are the perfect pairing for a sunscreen. Sunscreens will definitely protect you against the UV rays of the sun, but antioxidants protect against a more wider range of free radicals such as pollution, particulate matter that can cause oxidative stress in the skin. Always make sure you're using an antioxidant cream or serum alongside your sunscreen to really double down on the benefits you're going to see and prevent premature aging. This is like designed to go together, so when you layer them one on top of the other, there's no pilling, no peeling, no boiling up and you get just a little extra hydration into your routine. Now before I leave you, I do just want to talk retinoid. So the one that I was using throughout last week is this. This is the Medicaid Crystal Retinal 10. Now I am really, really in love with retinal as an ingredient. I find I get better benefits in terms of anti-aging, less redness and irritation and potential sensitivity. So that to me is like a win, 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 ding, ding, ding. However, I tend not to mix my retinoids too frequently because you want the skin to really become adjusted and accustomed to a particular ingredient rather than chopping and changing all the time. So I've been using this through to the last drop and I think I've got a couple more uses out of it left and then I'll be going back to my Geek and Gorgeous A-Game 10. They both contain the same concentration of retinal, that key ingredient, but the Geek and Gorgeous is a fraction of the cost. Like I say, I'm cheap. If I can get the same great outcomes at a fraction of the cost, why would I not? I'm really glad I tried this and I did it for like a video where I wanted to compare and contrast some of my favourite retinal products. I'll leave a link to that video up there if you want to check it out. So I was actually experimenting with this and trying it out for that video. Really enjoyed it, but I think the Geek and Gorgeous one pips it to the post because it's just so much more affordable. But of course, I'll use this to the last drop, and I'm really, really pleased that I tried it. And a great option if you love Medicaid, you like high potency retinoids, this is definitely a great option.
Now, normally I will talk a little bit about moisturizers, but I'm actually going to save that for a separate video, which I've got coming in the next week. I'm really excited to film that and all will become clear in the next seven days. So I have been using some moisturizers this week. Don't worry, I don't skip that step entirely, especially on an evening where I will factor in a moisturizer at the end of my routine. But I'm saving that for the content which is coming. I hate to spoil the surprise. Anyway, this just summarizes all the products that I've used in the past week. Hopefully this demonstrates actually consistency is key. I might be trying out a lot of products on the channel as part of filming content for you guys, but I still do have the same core ingredients that crop up time and time again contained within the same products. That consistency I think is really, really important. And hopefully I can show in this video that whilst I might be a skincare enthusiast to my core, I don't have such a huge amount of products that I filter in and out and chop and change too frequently. What do you guys think? Are any of these products in your skincare collection? Are there any that personally you just didn't get on with? Sound up in the comment section below, wherever you are in the world, guys. Stay safe, stay well, I love your skin. Take care. Bye.